Hi guys, Herbalist Forty here, and welcome back. Uh, right, today we've got Herb's What Ifs episode three, and we're going to be approaching the subject of Red Dead Revolver, a Rockstar game, and how I see it as maybe possibly being the ancestors of GTA V within this particular Rockstar game. Um, now, a lot of you have already seen the teaser episode that I put out yesterday. Um, and I do apologise for the delay um, between that and this video. Um, just I wasn't quite expecting as much um, information as I did find in the end. And I will say as well that for those of you who are going to look this up, um, information is a little bit scarce on this particular game. Like the, it, it's not as easy as other things I've researched to 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 get information on basically um so i will give you a heads up on that before you go looking for yourselves um yeah you're going to need to stay motivated because it's not the easiest thing to look into okay so like i've done a couple times before now um i've put most of the information up on the screen for you so it's a little bit easier to follow what i'm going on about um but as you can see, the game is Red Dead Revolver. Um, it initially came out on PS2, I believe, and it was then available to purchase on the PS3. Um, I don't have a PS3 anymore. Uh, I would have got it if I could, but um, unfortunately I can't. Um, I'm just going to point this out. There is... Um, basically in the game, there's some sort of journal. It's I think it's called the Sheriff's Log Logbook or something along those lines, and... It's quite dense. I think it's got about 300 pages in it, and you unlock the pages as you play the game. And it does state on the Red Dead Wikia that um, this particular logbook holds like detailed information on all of the characters. Um, there is, it seems like there's some of the logbook on the Wikia, like in the way it's written, but um, not as much information as it claims. The logbook holds basically so um, I don't know if anyone actually gets their hands on like the images of the logbook that are actually readable because I found a couple of pages but the images are so small I can't actually see um, but yeah anyway basically if anyone does find the logbook um, please feel free to put that in the comments below so I could check it out as well um, but yeah anyway I, I just thought it was kind of important here as you can see on the screen right at the bottom um, the Capcom version of this game before Rockstar took it over, um, it had a character who could fly. Um, Rockstar chose to take that out. Um, and if there's anything I know about them, is that they don't just do things for no reason at all. And there are a lot of Capcom related Easter eggs in this game that they chose to leave in. So I thought it was interesting that they chose to take that particular feature out. I wanted to start off with um, this guy, which is basically Red Harlow, and um, he is the son of a guy called Nate Harlow and a red-skinned Indian woman called um, Falling Star. Um, I'll quickly point out as well that Falling Star's the daughter of Rising Moon or Falling Moon or something to do with the moon. Um, I had to cut a lot out because otherwise the video would have become a little bit complicated but I will just stop to point that out. She's called Falling Star and her father's name, the chief of her village, um, is something to do with the moon. Um, so that's kind of interesting in a lot of ways as well. Um, but basically Red is Falling Star and Nate's son. Right, so um, on the screen here you can see Red and um, yeah I've because there's quite a bit to say about him. I've basically tried to fit it all onto the screen. But I'm going to stick to the point. Um, again, the mother falling star. Um, and his father, Nate Harlow. But basically, the first scene in the game. Um, Red's just a, a young man. And he's at home with his mum. Um, falling star. And basically, his dad comes back from a, a gold prospecting trip. And a pretty successful one at that. And he comes back bearing gifts and all sorts of stuff. Um, and among that, he has a Scorpion revolver, and it's one of two revolvers. Red's father has one, and Red fa Red's father's partner 
um, gold mining partner has the other. Um, now to make the long story short, basically, w whilst this reunion goes down, um, some bandits show up and Red and his father fight them off, but um, as Red's taking care of the last couple, one of them shoots his father and kills him. Um, there's quite a lot of fire and destruction going on around the house and they also kill his mother. Um, so Red scatters over to them and his father's revolver, the Scorpion revolver, is then sitting in the flames um, that I was talking about just a second ago. Um, so he he grabs the gun um, and obviously it's been sitting in fire so it's red hot and it um, it scars his hand and it scalds him and it um, imprints a scorpion onto his hand because that's basically what's on the handle of the revolver and I'll show you ju in just a second how why exactly that is quite interesting. Um, but it is important to point out that he, as you can see here on the screen at the bottom, the last paragraph, he, he seems to be quite ashamed of it in some way. Um, so he's constantly hiding it with a red piece of cloth wrapped around his right hand. Um, and it's interesting in this particular game how they use red and blue, I've noticed a couple, a couple of times. Um... And I'm still trying to determine exactly what the colours mean, um, but also sticking to the point of my video, I believe red to be one of Michael's distant ancestors. Um, now, I could be wrong. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you could disprove exactly what I'm saying. So, is it, as well, that's kind of just to show that I'm willing to admit that I'm, I'm not 100% right on a lot of things. Um, but anyway, if, if we stick stick to my theory, um, a lot of things will start to make sense. Okay, so as I put it up on the screen, there's not much left for me to say about this. Um, I'm just going to point it out anyway, but yeah, the scorpion on Red's gun, or his, his dead father's gun, he actually keeps the gun afterwards. But yeah, the scorpion on the handle that gets scarred into Red's right hand is pretty much the mirrored image of the scorpion that Trevor has tattooed on his right hand. Um, this is what I mean, like in one way it could discredit what I mean about Red being one of Michael's ancestors, um, but in another way it doesn't. I'm not going to go into the detail of that right now, I'd like you to think about it for yourselves. Um, but yeah, it, it was interesting as well. I looked at all the weapons in the game. Um, I find it interesting they chose 8 inch barrel and a 44 caliber for this particular weapon. Um, again, numerology gets me quite a lot. But um, yeah, I'm sure you can all pretty much see the, the correlation here and um, how that's in its own way quite intriguing, I guess. Okay, so I couldn't really find much information about this guy, um, but what I do know is, is that his name is Buffalo Soldier, and I do have a, a hunch that he is Franklin's ancestor, if we stick to my theory again. Um, now, I'll show you in just a second, just to remind you, but I'm sure you all know this, Franklin's car is a buffalo. A bravado buffalo. Um, I said it in the beginning of the video. If there's anything I know about Rockstar's ways right now. Is that they don't do anything by accident. Everything is done for a reason. Um, now there are a couple of things I know about this guy. But not really relevant to my theory right now. So um, you know you might find a couple of bits about him. But I'm not sure if anything can actually relate to what I'm talking about. Other than the fact that he is called Buffalo Soldier. Um, now I'm going to take just one second to point out something for Bry right now because I was talking to you buddy the other day and I remember you telling me you had a certain theory about Franklin and Hearts. Um, the lyrics to Buffalo Soldier um, is Buffalo Soldier in the heart of America. Um, so I don't know if that can be of any help to you mate but if my theory is any way right that could correlate in its own way. Um, considering as well that it is a song, if I'm not mistaken, that has been used before in GTA. 
Right, now we're going to make um, a quick stop on this guy, and he is basically, as you can see, Jack Swift, and Swift is a duality of speed, um, it is in the same family of words. Um, for those of you who are not familiar <coughs> with most of our research up till now, but we have been looking a lot into a guy called Claude Speed. Um, again, all of this is done on purpose. They don't make mistakes. Um, they're, they're, they're too much of a big company for that kind of crap. They don't make spelling mistakes. If you see a spelling mistake, that's something I wanted to tell you guys. If you see a spelling mistake in GTA 5, it's there to make you notice what you're reading or what you're looking at. Um, but anyway, sticking to this, um, I'm going to bring up right now a picture of who Wispy was talking about, which is basically the stranger from Red, Red Dead Redemption. Okay, so this is the, the stranger, um, the guy who John Marston from Red Dead Redemption interacts with quite a, quite a bit throughout his storyline. Um, he does look almost exactly the same apart from his clothing and his hat to Jack Swift. Um, so I'm just going to bring Jack Swift up right now. Um, bear this guy's face in mind, you'll be able to switch backwards and forwards. Um, to compare them properly, but you'll see they are pretty much identical. Alright, so we've got him up in a bit of a bigger perspective here for you, and as you can see, the moustache is pretty much the same, um, the body outline is pretty much the same, and he's like, I know the background is pretty dark, but I've seen multiple pictures of him, and his outline of his eyes is quite similar as well. Um, so that's what I meant by when Wispy Woods said the stranger could be Trevor's father or ancestor depending on how you look at it that is also possible that Jack would be just a link in between the two or a separate relative it is a possibility um, you know some of our ideas are pretty crazy and outside of the box so while we're at it why, why hold back why not just go as far as we can with certain theories just to see where they may lead um, but yeah, anyway, that's all I'm going to say for just now on Jack Swift, and we will come back to him in a later part of the video because he does tie to Trevor a lot more than what you might think right now. Before we carry on, there are um, just a couple of little bits and pieces that I'm going to show you. Um, the first one is, as you can see now, it's this guy. He's called Percy Merriweather. Um, and this is what I mean by me not being able to find as much as I would have liked about this game. Um, I can't actually find much background or history to him. Um, I know he's tied to banking or something along those lines. But yeah, basically, he shares, well, uh, with the exception of the Y being an I, um, he shares the same name as the security company in GTA 5. Um, so I find that very interesting. But um, yeah, I've put it down there for you. So if you do come across anything more about this guy it'd be interesting to know what um, even if you think it's not relevant you know different different opinions can reveal different secrets or different ideas um, so yeah feel free to hit me up if you have any further information on this guy because I find his name to be quite interesting okay next up I'm just going to show you a couple random weapons that are in this game that I find interesting um, there, there, there's not that many weapons, there are a few, but there are only a couple that have interesting names. And the first one is this rifle, and it's the Owl Rifle. I don't have much to say about it, but I find the fact that they chose to call it the Owl Rifle quite interesting. Um, we can have a discussion after the video about how many times I say quite interesting. Um, but I'm just kind of covering my tracks here, making sure I don't trick anyone or mislead anyone into believing that I'm trying to convince them that this is fact. Um, this for the moment is just research, no matter how exciting it may seem or how it connects to certain theories. Um, yeah, you can't just throw it out there as being 100% fact again. And this is the other interesting weapon that I saw, and it's called the lion. Um, so you have the, the owl, the lion, 
and the Scorpion Revolver. Um, and those, to me, are the three weapons with interesting choices of um, titles for them. To say, I'll just say that. Here it's not the best shot, but you can see in the background there, there's a red barn. Um, not much detail on it, but it is very similar to the red barn we have in GTA 5. Um, I know they're a kind of a typical design, um, but I'm not sure if this red barn appears in any other Rockstar games, but it could be another correlation in some sense, in some way, so I thought it was semi-important to point that out, just to document that as well. This is going to be the last um, random image I'll show you before we get to the more solid connections I've made. Um, and it's this picture of Red and the clock tower behind him. Um, now, same as in the American Dad episode I did, which was Herb's What Ifs episode 2. Um, and that's not even the only case. I keep seeing clock towers coming back repetitively and they seem to be linked to back to the future or most times they're linked to back to the future um, so I've, again I find it interesting that everything kind of connects like you kind of know when you're looking into the right things because all the elements are there and they don't really change um, and for some of you that are looking to resolve a mystery and get your physical re um, reward kind of thing some of the things I say may discourage you, but just just to put an end to that kind of feeling, trust me, I do believe there is an end game to this. I do believe we will be rewarded with something. Um, do I believe it's a jetpack necessarily? No. Um, do I believe one of the characters might get a jetpack? Yes, I do. Um, but as Wispy was kind of telling you the other day, we had a lot of cool ideas, and one of them would have been the hoverboard, um, from Back to the Future, um, another one for, for me, and this may sound ridiculous to some of you, would be that Trevor would grow demon wings and Michael would grow angel wings and Franklin would be given a jetpack. Um, some of you are sitting there hoping that it's going to be a UFO. Um, same as a lot of things, we just don't know. Um, for the meantime, all we have to do is kind of be patient and all stick together and try and gather all the bits we can into one place so we can then determine how to use certain things or discard other things but anyway um, let's just keep on with today's theory right so here we go for the good stuff um, but one last thing just before that because this guy does relate to what I'm going to get to um, this dude is known as Pig Josh, um, possible distant relative of Eilish Joshy, um, you never know. I do see some physical similarities going down there, um, just the ginger hairs missing. But um, anyway, back to the point, this dude is stated on the wikia as being um, either based on or connected to Pigsy from another Rockstar game called Manhunt. Um, and for those of you who stay up to date with all my videos, when we did the video on the Rockstar wallpapers, I don't know if you remember, but on one of the wallpapers, which was called Decay, um, I did actually find Pigsy hind in, in the image there. Um, so again, it's kind of cool how everything sort of connects when you find yourself on the right path sort of thing. Right, so here we go. Um, this is going to kind of help uh, give a crutch to my theory about Jack Swift being connected to Trevor. Um, and these guys are called fidgets, and as you can see, they basically look like clowns. And these are basically um, antagonists or enemies in the Red Dead Revolver world. Um, and Red faces them, but Jack Swift also faces them. And we're going to jump into a little bit more detail as to how I believe this connects to Trevor. Right, um... So, 
these dudes are basically or kind of said to be the sons of Pig Josh, the guy I just showed you. Um, and he conceives them with the Bat Lady, and they're all part of a freak show, i.e. a circus, um, and that's where clowns come from. Um, now, basically, at some point, Jack Swift was part of the freak show slash circus as well, in some way or another, and he chose to leave this environment, um, which basically creates some sort of a feud between him and Professor Perry, who is the freak show owner. Um, and in the end of the game, I think Jack Swift actually fights um, Professor Perry, or he's one of the end bosses. And um, before that, there is quite a, a swarm of these little fidgets, i.e. clowns. Now, I'm sure you've already guessed where my connection is coming from, but Trevor hates clowns. He despises them. Um... And also, I know it's not 100% accurate, but and I haven't got a picture right now to show you, but in-game he does have quite a big clown tattoo. I know it's a tattoo you can get online as well, but he Trevor does have that particular tattoo. And the, the hairstyle and the average look of them compared to that tattoo is also very similar. Um, what's important to point out at the bottom of the screen as well is that when Trevor does his rage mode missions or little little uh, rampage missions when he gets a headshot you can hear a guitar sound it sounds like an electric guitar going off and as it says here at the bottom of the screen I've pointed it out for you um, whilst fighting with these fidgets sometimes in the game it's noted that you can hear odd sounds like a slide whistle or a drum roll um, so again it's sort of a connection there for me Okay guys, so last but not least we have this dude and this is a bit nuts. He he's called Chris Bailey and like this I know I said I can't actually locate a lot of the information on this game because it's quite an old one and maybe not quite as popular as Red Dead Redemption, so it maybe it's buried under all that stuff, but um the point is is that pretty much every character in the game, even the minor ones have sort of a little bit of background to them and it even states on the wiki that there's pretty much nothing to be known at this guy other than he's the leader of the ugly gang and he's his nickname is ugly chris um now you all know chris from the epsilon program um i'm just going to point out here like as a, again nothing is done by accident this dude has a red cloth on his right hand, very similar to red, where he's got his scorpion scar, and it does state this on the wikia, but it, what, what it doesn't point out is that he's got a red eye patch over his right eye, and he's wearing a light blue or sky blue t-shirt underneath his jacket. Um, very strange. He's called Chris, he's got one eye missing, he's got the red eye patch going on, he's got the kind of Epsilon blue t-shirt going on there, and in some strange way he's also mimicking red with the, the, the red piece of cloth over his right hand. Um, and another thing I'm going to point out which is pretty weird about this guy is that in this picture that you can see here is the original. This is like from Red Dead Revolver itself and he's actually black. Um, but all the characters I've just mentioned in this video were made available in Red Dead Redemption's online game. Um, and this dude, Chris Bailey, when they put him into Red Dead Redemption, they, changes, they changed his skin to white. Um, so I don't know why they would do that. I don't really see the point. Um, unless I'm missing something, I'm not too sure. Um... But anyway, guys, I, as I said, I did cut out a lot of information that I had found. Um, I did try to stick to the most relevant stuff. Um, I'm working on a hell of a lot of things right now, so I'm kind of split between what I'm going to bring you next. Um, but I'm always open to ideas from you guys if you have anything that you feel might be worth me putting into a video for you or whatever. Feel free to, to let me know. Um, again, thank you for all the new subscribers, nice one for you guys, uh, it's, it's cool to see 
people building up on the channel um getting more opinions i'm getting more comments so that's wicked cool as well um but yeah guys anyway i do hope that you enjoyed the content of today's video um i hope that i gave you enough insight as to what i meant um but yeah that's pretty much it guys so um again take it easy and until next time see ya